What's going on guys? I'm Rocky. I run a content creation agency. This is my Jaguar F-Type R. Why don't you tell us why you chose the Jaguar F-Type R? So I chose the Jaguar F-Type R because I was looking at different V8 cars and kind of in the 60 to 80K price range. And the exhaust just sounds crazy on this car. Stock, it, you know, it has all the burbles, all the pops and everything. So, you know, it, it made me lean towards this. Plus the, I mean, you kind of get like a supercar look. This one's the convertible. And um, yeah, just the body style, everything, it was just, you know, it's it's different. You know, you don't really see a lot of these on the road, especially a young guy with them. I always see old old grandpas with the base model one, but this <laughs> is the, you know, the V8 supercharged one. So I want it to be a little different. You know, my business is, is very content driven. I'm always standing in front of my car doing a sales pitch. So I needed something that would get your attention, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro yeah. flexed on the grandpas, man. Yeah. Bro flexed on them. <laughs> Keep your grandmas away from him. <laughs> So nothing's currently done to it, it's 100% stock, but my boy Logan with the C63, he just got it tuned and, and he said it added tons of horsepower. He said the guy that does the tunes that has a good Jaguar tune, so my stage to it, we'll see. <laughs> what are your pros and cons about the, uh, this car? Okay, let's start with the pros. You want me to do three and three? Sure. Okay, so three pros about this car. One is the, it's the speed. It's it's ridiculously fast. It's all-wheel drive, so it flies off the line. I mean, uh, you know, I've gapped like you know numerous amounts of cars uh, <laughs> off the line, and, and even up until you know the past the hundreds range. Uh, I think the top speed is like 190. It, on the dash, it says 210, but you know, I I'm not a maniac. I don't I don't <laughs> Paul Walker, you know. But um, yeah, that's definitely the first pro is, is the speed, the all-wheel drive. Second pro is the exhaust sound. It, it just sounds gnarly you guys will see it in a sec um and then the third i'd have to say is is the look i mean it's just it's just sleek it's it's not too loud but it's it's kind of loud it's it just has this interesting look where you know you could compare it to other cars the headlights look dope the kind of the sleekness of uh, I, I like the coupe or the sorry the convertible version better than the coupe because the coupe is just kind of like like a big bubble but this when you take the top down it just it, it just looks foreign you know so it just has a cool aggressive look to it you know yeah yeah. All right, so what about the cons? Okay, three cons. First con is that it's a British car. So the, the parts take like, I used to live in Portland, Oregon. Now I live in SoCal. The, like I just took it to the dealership to get the front brakes done and they were able to do it in a day. Get me in in a day. In Portland, I'd have to wait like a month or two and have my car sitting there for the parts to come in and is everything's on back order. That's by far probably one of the biggest con. Uh, biggest cons about Jaguars especially like a performance one like this because you know everything needs to get changed frequently I'd say uh, the second con would be speakers the speakers suck wow, that, that's <laughs> that's any that's any coupe or sorry that's any convertible you know coupe yeah. you know the speakers are not gonna be great unless you get like an Audi R8 the speakers are nice in those um, I was thinking of upgrading the speakers but I mean at that point I'll probably just get a daily driver that has fire speakers you know I, I just want to listen to the exhaust um, then the third con probably have to be I'm gonna make up a third con because I really <laughs> like this car um, probably the interior the interior is kind of clunky I mean it's a nice interior but it's uh, you know compared to like a Mercedes or like something it, the interior is not the craziest that, that would probably be my third con is the interior you know it's it's a comfy interior it just you know some things are a little squeaky but that's probably the only thing what advice would you give to future Jaguar type R um, F type R owners uh, when you're looking to buy one, they people think that Jaguars have unlimited amount of problems. They're pretty reliable once like they're fully fixed, but make sure if you're gonna buy one, try to buy one certified pre-owned because I bought this from a CarMax that was not certified pre-owned. And literally a month later, I had to replace the engine. Luckily the warranty covered it, but there was something seriously wrong with the engine. I don't know, I'm not a car <laughs> guru. You see what I'm saying? He, the guy behind the camera could probably tell you more about what was wrong with my car, you know? But uh just definitely make sure you're, you're if you're gonna buy it privately buy it from somebody who took care of it low miles like you know kind of all the above okay um i'd say you know advice with buying any car this car is a lower price range compared to other cars with the same speed same look you know like you know uh it, it's it's a lower price to buy it but definitely the maintenance is a lot higher so you know when I bought this car, I was, you know, it was kind of when I got my first big check in my business and then the maintenance bill came, I was like, 10 grand, oh shit, like, you know? Um, but definitely keep in mind that, you know, with a car like this, the parts are foreign. They're, they're gonna take a long time to come in. They're all gonna be expensive. It's not like an American muscle car. 
So just keep that in mind when you're buying one, you know. Um, don't let the, the lower price tag compared to like an R8 or a C8 or something fool you, you see what I'm saying? It'll, st it'll still dig into your pockets a little bit, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the only piece of advice I could I could give somebody looking to buy this car. You know, it's a fire car, buy it. So I actually learned of this car when it first came out because Jaguar was never known for having like, you know, sports cars. And I remember when this first came out, I was like, holy shit, this looks exotic. And now seeing it in person, I definitely can, you know, I could definitely confirm that it looks exotic. Um, it has like a very long, you know, hood slash like bonnet. I don't know what you would call it, but it has like that long look that like a lot of Ferraris have um, in the front. And you can see the big brake kit right there. It's huge. It fills up majority of the wheel well. And um, yeah, overall, I do think this car is underrated. Um, styling wise, it's it looks really good, especially um, for like the age. Like I feel like it's aged really well. Um, it could still look very new. And he was saying it's all wheel drive, which I had no clue. Um, that's that's dangerous because like if you're trying to race someone off the line, you're gonna gap them, like he was saying. So <laughs> so all wheel drive is a problem. Um, it makes you more consistent, you know, on launches and stuff like that. And it's more fun for sure, like if you're trying to get top speed runs and stuff. But um, yeah, this car, I feel like it's super underrated. I'm very excited to hear it and kind of experience what it's like, you know, in the passenger and just feel like the acceleration because this is essentially a foreign Hellcat, <laughs> right? Pretty much. Yeah, because it's, it's supercharged, it's a V8. This is a foreign Hellcat. It looks better. It probably sounds better. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hellcats sound good, but it doesn't look this good. I'll say that much. So I'm very excited to get um, the experience out of this. Time to hop in the F Type R. Yes, sir. Hey, he even, he even opened up the door. That's, That's crazy. Good. That's crazy. Very curious to see how this is going to sound and drive compared to the C63 engine. The top down so we can get the whole experience. <laughs> Keep up with my N8. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my gosh. This is a foreign Hellcat, man. Real, man. Foreign Hellcat. Yeah, y'all no, got the toll roads out here. <laughs> next for you after this car after this car i i don't know the the british cars see here's <laughs> the thing the british cars are, are yeah they're a pain in the ass with the maintenance but they, they like they're treating me well so i don't know i have my eye on maybe like a 570 or like uh r8s are pretty dope too i don't know it's it just kind of comes down to when it's time it's time you yeah. know so he might be going the exotic route bro so, yeah yeah <laughs> So there's so many fun cars in, in like you know in, in every price range so um you know definitely something faster though definitely okay. something faster okay. because you know uh, here's the thing is you know for a for a commercial I, or for a music video i was shooting we rented a cadillac escalate yeah. my client didn't have insurance so i had to rent it i had to drive it and everything yeah. i was kind of chauffeuring everybody around yeah. and um it's super comfortable it's it's like luxury you see what i'm saying but the problem was is it wasn't fast and I, it, it made me realize because you know i was thinking hmm maybe i should get like you know just a like a 
S580 or like a Maybach or like some sort of nice daily driver instead of like a super fast car but then it made me realize I was like nah like we gotta get a faster car you know <laughs> it's too fun yeah yeah it, it's it makes driving to go do things fun sheesh sounds good <laughs> sheesh sounds really good that's why, like, you know, when I when I see Logan's car, I'm like, hmm, if I did downpipes and, like, a tune on it, because I know that somebody's got a fire tune for Jaguars, yeah, you know? Yeah, man. Crack the code a little bit. <laughs> it'll, probably, it'll probably be too obnoxious. It'll be like a war zone. Nah, <laughs> you'll be good. Yeah. If you see this, comment, tell him to get his car tuned and get some downpipes. I think, yeah. I think that would be sick. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. That would be sick. <laughs>